I cannot believe it has actually been four years, four years of being sober. Let me tell you, I have tried the most disgusting alcohol-free options out there. I've tried so many of them. I've tried the worst and I've tried the best. And today I'm gonna to share with you four alcohol-free dupes for creating that perfect alternative that still tastes like the drink that you love without the hangover. So I decided to stop drinking alcohol four years ago. I actually just decided to do one year off and then here we are four years later and I haven't drunk a drop since. Now in that time, I got engaged, I got married, I went on my honeymoon and none of those occasions did I feel like I needed a drink. And I think that's the most important thing. I've never felt like I actually needed to have the drink. So it hasn't felt like a restriction to me. It's just felt like the right decision for me. If you wanna learn more about my alcohol-free journey, let me know in the comments and I can create another video around why I went into that. But today we're gonna to focus on four dupes. So let's get straight into it. Number one is Clean Co. Now I've been drinking Clean Co for years. I actually started my sober curious journey about eight years ago. So eight years ago, I started doing dry January, sober October. And so there was like two months off in the year that I wouldn't drink. And a year after I'd maybe do like two months off or three months off and so on and so forth. Until in 2020, four years ago, I decided I'm gonna do a year off and I just haven't drunk since. But Clean Co has been around for a really long time and it is a delicious alternative to the spirit loving people amongst you. So if you're into your gins, your rums, they also do a spiced apple vodka. I'm not the biggest fan of the spiced apple, but the gin and the rum are really, really good dupes. So simple as well, you literally would just use them how you would use your gin and your rum. So you'd use a shot measurement, you'd pour them into a glass and then add your Coke if you're having rum and Coke, add your juice if you're having gin and juice, add your tonic water if you're having gin and tonic. So easy, a couple of cubes of ice, a straw in the sunshine and you just feel next level bougie. You're not drinking an orange juice, you're not drinking a schlur, it doesn't taste like crap, but you've got no hangover the next day and you still feel like you're being included. You'll still feel like you can take part because so many people when they go off alcohol, whether that's forever, whether it's for a month, whether it's for a weekend, often feel like self-conscious and boring and you do not have to be either of those things, I promise you. The second one is the best rosé I have found. Now, wines are notorious for being really hard to find an alcohol-free option, but you never guess who smashed it. You will never guess who has knocked it out of the park. Alcohol-free wine, specifically rosé. Only bloody Kylie Minogue. Yeah, so Kylie Minogue does wines now and she does an amazing alcohol-free rosé. You can get this in most of your supermarkets. It's a beautiful bottle. It tastes really delicious. Filled ice cube, wine glass, get outside, enjoy it with your barbecue. You do not want to miss this one. Thank me later, it's delicious. On the topic of wines, my third recommendation is actually a really new one. I think they're quite a new brand. I was recently invited to a PR dinner and wine tasting with this brand and got to try their white sparkling and their red. Their white was absolutely my favorite. The other two were good, but the white was just, again, I've not tried an alternative to white wine. That hasn't tasted like crap, but this was really, really good. Again, chilled perfect with your food pairings. I don't really know what goes with white wine, but I mean, it tasted good with the food that I was eating. So white wine, chilled, again, ice cube, wine glass in the summer. I feel like summer wine, that's when I would really drink wine, especially white wines and the rosés. It would be in the summertime. And yeah, it's a really cool brand. It's a French brand. So they know how to make their wines and they're just gonna made alcohol-free dupes of them. Love that. And then lastly, this is perfect for anyone who misses out on their cocktails. So you can use the Clean Co to use as like a fake gin or a fake rum and make yourself a cocktail with that. But every single time I have had this particular brand in a cocktail, and that's often been at a bar, it has tasted so good. And I can vouch for that because not only do I think it tastes good, but my friends think it tastes good. My husband thinks it tastes good. They all drink alcohol. So I don't think you need to think it tastes good in comparison to an alcoholic drink. You just need to think it tastes good as a drink standalone. It's obviously not gonna give you that like buzzy tipsy feeling. It's not gonna give you that like next day hangover, which we all hate but it is gonna give you that, mm, I'm drinking a really tasty, delicious drink that isn't 
going to make me feel crap the next day in the same way that drinking alcohol would make me potentially feel. I mean, most of us do feel crap the next day. Depends how much you drink. I always used to feel crap. And this is liars. I think I'm saying that correctly. But anyway, the dupe that I need you to know about is their Aperol. So they basically have an Aperol spirit and then a Prosecco. So the Prosecco dupe with the Aperol dupe is all you need. You just need two bottles, mix it together, insane dupe for Aperol. And again, Aperol for me is a summer drink. Really for me, actually, the biggest time I would be drinking is summer in the garden, on holiday, ice cubes, glass, straw, you get what I'm into. But this is so good. And again, I've never tasted, or I've really ever seen any other brand do an Aperol dupe. I think you see a lot of like the alcohol-free spirits, you see a lot of alcohol-free Prosecco, like the no secos, but you don't see things like Aperol spritz. So definitely, definitely do not sleep on that one, especially if you're planning for the summer and you're planning a barbecue or you're planning to have some friends around. I think it's so nice to have alcohol-free options just in case for people who might not want to drink. Like if you're throwing a party and you really want people to feel included, just get a couple of bottles of alcohol free and then it's there. You don't have to force it down anyone's throat. Like if anyone comes to my house, you'll be offered alcohol and you'll be offered alcohol free because I want people to come and feel comfortable. You don't know who's pregnant. You don't know who's on antibiotics. You don't know who just doesn't want to drink but doesn't want to feel the peer pressure of having to like tell people or just like have a glass of water. They want to take part are gonna feel peer pressured to drink or they have to drink that water because there's no other alternative. So getting a few alcohol-free options in is just a way to have a really inclusive fun party where people can just feel free to be able to do what they want. And that is the most important thing is just giving people that, giving people those options. And we're in a day and age now where these options are good. They're tasty, they're available. It doesn't have to be the crappy tasting thing that looks gross. It doesn't look like you're having fun. You can still take part. And you get a bit of a placebo effect as well. Like you're in a party environment, you're drinking a drink that kind of tastes like what you would drink when you would be drinking alcohol and kind of let loose a little bit more, but you don't make those really bad mistakes like texting your ex or waking up in a ditch. No one wants to wake up in a ditch. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed these. If you want more, let me know. I've got honestly so many recommendations. A link below with all of my favorites if you wanna check them out. And again, if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, chat to me. If there's any that you are like, oh my God, you need to try this, let me know because I'm sure there are so many that I've not yet tried and I'm open. So tell me, help a gal out. Happy, happy not drinking for however long you would like to not drink for. No pressure either way but enjoy the delish alcohol-free options that are there. I'll see you soon. Bye.